Well, the Eldorado Brome was designed for GM's traveling roadshow, the Motorama Show, which was to showcase Cadillac's brand new car. In 1957, only 400 of these cars were hand built on a separate assembly line. 1958, only 304 of these cars were built. Well, they were the latest and greatest in technology. They had every gadget you could ever imagine, and they were priced at almost three times the regular value of a Cadillac. This car was $13,000 brand new. But what's scary is GM lost, or Cadillac lost, $10,000 on each one of these cars produced. It cost them over $23,000 to hand build these cars. I think what they were hoping for was great big volumes to try and offset that. Well, it never happened. The car only lasted two years. This was the latest and greatest in 1958. It was the ultimate in technology, and it rode better than anything in North America. So let's take it for a ride. Of course, this car had every gadget any Cadillac freak could ever want. It had everything. It was their dream car. Well, as far as performance went, it needed a serious motor underneath there just to move this thing. It must weigh 5,000 pounds. came with a 365 cubic inch. In 57, it had two four barrels. In 58, it had three two barrels, making 335 horsepower. That was a ton for 1958. Well, transmission had a four-speed automatic pretty rare considering most of the guys out there in, in those days were building two-speed power glides. As far as the suspension, it had a full air ride suspension, automatic load leveling, it had an anti-dive system when you stood on the brakes, the nose wouldn't come planted down too hard. It also had a free-flowing oil filter, which was an industry first. It had, of course, under the rear seat, two individual heaters, make sure everybody was comfortable back then. Another industry first was standard to have air conditioning in this car, and it was standard to have year-round fresh air air conditioning as well. Another industry first, it had automatic headlight dimming. As cars approached, it would dim your headlights. Well, the most obvious features of the Brome is a one-piece stainless steel roof. The rocker panels, all stainless steel trim, and of course, the suicide doors. Now, in order for, to make this work, they had some interesting weather strips. You can see the weather strip on this side, and you can see the receiving end here had a little spring-loaded tensioner, so when the doors were closed, there was well, no wind noise. Well, of course, it was a Cadillac, so it came with power windows. It came with remote mirror power steering, power brakes, automatic transmission. But here are some of the things you didn't realize. 45 different interior color combinations were available. 15 exterior color combinations were available, though a lot of them were black because it showed off the stainless steel roof. It was the first year for an all-transistor radio. And this car here, it's not the world's best restored 58 Brome, not, not by a long shot. It's a nice driver the guy uses all the time. The paint's a number two, the chrome's a number two, the interior's a number two. What makes it really rare and collectible is the fact that all this technology still works on this car. Not not only that, this car was Bob Hope's actual car. He still has the keychain with a big image of Bob Hope on it. He owned the car from 1958 until 1984. That's what makes this car collectible. Now, as far as values go, they're not extreme. These cars are worth somewhere between fifty dollars and $75,000. Maybe add another $25,000 for celebrity status of Bob Hope owning this. So the car is worth $100 on a good day. Well, that's a wrap on another.